All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a review of this knife, and this is the Civivi Perf. And the reason for the name Perf is pretty easy to tell. As you can see, it's perforated with these milled out machined holes on both sides of the handle. And first of all, I wanted to mention that Civivi did send this knife to me. This is one of many Civivi models that are uh, coming out here in 2021 that I'm interested in and this was one that they wanted to send along for feedback and review. So I really appreciate Civivi sending this and uh, wanted to make a video here on my thoughts on the knife. So first of all, the Civivi Perf is typical, really great Civivi quality. That's one thing that, that having seen a lot of Civivi knives now, I've really come to expect and haven't been disappointed yet in the quality of Civivi knives, both you know ones that they've sent to me and ones that I've purchased myself. It is a really well-made knife. This knife came perfectly centered. I did disassemble this knife. It is maybe slightly off center after disassembly, but you know that's probably my assembly rather than the actual construction of the knife. It came with Pretty much perfect action, super smooth with the ball bearing, ceramic ball bearing pivot and easy to drop close there. Um, also great lockup, uh, no play forward and back, uh, can't, you know, no lock slip and even unlocked, no uh, side to side play. It came like that and after, you know, disassembling and reassembling, it was easy to get back to that quality. So. Um, really, really nicely done on the functional construction of the knife. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention about the construction of this knife is, as you can see, it is a frame lock, and that's something that's relatively new for Civivi. Uh, Civivi is a sister company to Wee Knives, and Wee Knives has made a lot of frame locks, but I believe that this is the second frame lock from Civivi after the Knox. And so it's, it's kind of a new thing for Civivi, but they did a good job of it here. So because this is a relatively smaller knife, one thing that you do have to watch being that it's a frame lock and you have to watch this on any frame lock, uh, but particularly smaller frame locks for me is that you don't put pressure onto the lock bar when you're opening it. So if you see where my, my middle finger is right now, it's actually on the lock bar. If I put a lot of pressure on that lock bar, it is basically pushing the detent ball of the lock bar down into the blade so that you're not gonna be able to break that detent. But as long as you hold it normally, like so, see how I'm not putting pressure on the lock bar, it doesn't you know, cause an issue whatsoever. And again, that's something that is inherent to the design of a frame lock, uh, not something that is inherent to the design of this frame lock. All frame locks you do have to watch putting pressure on the lock bar because of how the detent works. The other thing here is that because it's a smaller knife uh, and the way a frame lock works, this cutout here, if you choke up really far, sometimes I can fill that cutout on my knuckle, but the nice thing is that it is rounded here. So it's not like uh, I have had some frame locks and even liner locks, to be honest, where the handle, because it came to a point here rather than coming to a rounded area like this, was really, really sharp. This one, sometimes I feel it on my knuckle, but it's not so pointy that it causes a big issue like I've had on other knives. So just two things that are kind of, um, like I say, part of an inherent uh, design characteristic of a frame lock, not specific to the perf here, but just something to be aware of. And one thing that I wanted to mention about this knife is that it really does have attention to detail on the, the machining. So if you take a look, there's all these areas where the, the there's a hole machined into the handle, again, hence the name. But all of those have really nice beveling. Um, I, I know that there's a technical term for it that it's not really bevel, but there's a rounded, basically a, a rounded radius from you know the the upward edge to the the horizontal edge, so that these are are you know create some some grip when you're holding the knife. You can definitely feel them, but they're not sharp at all. They're nice and smoothly machined, uh, and that goes across the whole knife here. So I wanted to show you the edges nice and, and rounded on the machining so that there's no hot spots on, on the edges of the handle, the spine of the handle. It does have some jimping both on the blade, down, or I'm sorry, on the handle down here and on the blade. And 
On the blade itself, the machining is really nicely done. There's a, there's a, a thing that I really appreciate that Civivi does a lot, which is they don't leave the spines completely squared off. You know, a knife like this, you you don't need to, to be a, a hard spine so that you can like strike a ferro rod or something. It's nice when it has this machining, you can see that grind so that it's it's smooth. It's not a super abrupt edge there. That can, even when you reach into your pocket, feel like you're getting cut, even if you're not actually getting cut. So I really appreciate those attentions to detail on the handle machining and the blade machining. And speaking of the blade, this is a really well-ground knife. So one thing that, that I noticed right away from using this knife, and I have carried and used this knife since I got it, uh, is that this knife is ground very, very thinly. So uh, it's always hard to show this, but I want you to look right here where you can see how thin that comes behind the edge there. Now, I don't have calipers. I don't really measure that. I do it from use, but I can tell from using this knife that it is ground to a, a an edge and, and a blade grind that are meant for use, that are meant for cutting. I've used this knife for EDC tasks, some cardboard, some food prep, and some general usage, and uh, I have been really impressed with the cutting. This blade is definitely ground to cut. As you can see, it's got a full grind here. It goes all the way up to the spine on both sides, and I just think that it is a great blade shape also. Super classic drop point. You can see it has kind of a, a continuous curve from the handle to the tip on the spine. Nice, really, really subtle curve, and then it's got some straight edge here and then a really nice, again, gradual, but definitely not as subtle, obviously, curve towards the tip on the edge. Makes for really good use. Um, one thing, I was uh, cutting some chicken for my lunch and this thing just really like, like slid right through it and particularly after sharpening it. So speaking of sharpening it, this blade is, and I, I oiled it after um, assembling it, but it is, I believe it says on here, yeah, it does. Um, Nitro V Steel. Now, I was not familiar with Nitro V Steel before getting this knife. From looking into it, I don't think that it's necessarily a super steel, which is probably not to be expected on a knife of this price, but it is a, a mid-range steel probably, and uh, I found it to be pretty easy to sharpen and also uh, to, to stay sharp pretty, pretty well. Um, like I said, I did sharpen it, I stropped it a little bit, and it really slices uh, with this great grind and then with the nice thin edge and with this blade shape. So I really like this classic drop point blade shape for EDC practical usage. Now, another thing I wanted to mention about the perf is the size. So like a lot of Civivi knives, this is what you would call an EDC size knife. It's not a big knife, and I wanna give you some size comparisons real quick here. So first of all, this is a Benchmade full-size Griptilian, and you can see it's a lot bigger than the Perf. Then here is a Spyderco Native 5, which is around the same size. I wanna give you a pretty close-up comparison here. So with the Perf and the Native 5, they actually have pretty similar handle lengths, although the Native 5 is actually quite a bit taller in its uh, closed profile, so how it would sit in your pocket. But one nice thing is because this Perf does not have a finger choil, you get quite a bit more edge. So you can see if I line those edges up, you get maybe almost an inch more edge out of the Perf than out of the Native 5. I love the Native 5, but that's one upside to not having a choil. Now, still, you know, the, the flipper will close and hit your thumb, so you don't have to worry about the edge hitting your, your finger when you close the knife. And then one more size comparison is the Civivi Elementum. Uh, what a lot of people are, are considering an EDC great now also. And the Perf is a little bit longer. So you can see it's, it's about the same length in the handle, but it's a little bit thinner or less tall. And you do get pretty close to the same blade length, maybe a little bit more edge out of the Perf than out of the Elementum, but really similar in size. So if you're a fan of the Elementum, the Perf will probably be a good size for you also. It's similar in length, but a little bit less tall in the handle and in the blade. 
Speaking of the blade, one thing I wanted to mention about the blade length here is that it is 3.12 inches. So it's not something I have to worry about, but if you live in a place or work in a place or are often in a place where there's a three inch blade length law, the perf is actually slightly over three inches in its blade length. So just something to be aware of. Again, not something that I have to think about, but something for you to be aware of. Slightly over three inches in the blade length. So overall, I think that the Perf is a really cool knife. Now, one thing that I've had a lot of people mention when I've shown this knife to them, and I've seen people mentioning online, is that when they see this perforated handle, they think of the Gerber paraframe. And the Gerber paraframe is kind of a an infamous knife in that it is considered not a very good knife. And so I think that that can kind of hurt the immediate reaction of people who are familiar with the Gerber paraframe when they see this perf. And I have had a paraframe. I don't have a paraframe anymore. Um, but I can tell you right now that, that if you pick both of these knives up, a paraframe and a perf, you won't think that they're similar you know, after picking them up. They are very, very, very different knives, different quality, um, and just have a different feel to them. So while I have had people say that, and I've seen that online, I don't really think that it's a good comparison. The The Civivi Perf is just in every way a better knife than the Gerber Paraframe. Um, so I wanted to make sure to mention that because I, I would hate to see people look at this knife and say, oh, it's just like the Gerber Paraframe and not pick it up because of that. I actually like the perforated handle. I think that it's cool because it allows for a unique look to the knife and also a little bit of texture. Again, when, when, when you hold the knife, it does give you a little bit of purchase, but definitely a unique look while allowing the knife to be pretty much all metal. Now, caveat to that, the ceram the ball bearing uh, detent is a ceramic ball bearing detent and the uh, pivot has ceramic ball bearings in the washers. So there, there are a few ceramic pieces in here, but other than that, it is all metal. So it's a really sturdy feeling little knife. It, it's again, a, a really EDC friendly size with the about three inch blade and the, the pretty slender handle and closed uh, you know, outline to it but it feels sturdy because it's all metal, because it's, it's you know, a solid uh, feel to the frame lock. It, it feels like a really sturdy knife with that all metal construction. And, and I like that. It, you know, feels like you won't really have to worry about breaking it. And that combined with the really, really great slicing, I think makes it a, a really good user knife. And then on top of the good look of the, the perforations, if you took those perfor perforations away, I think it would still be a really good looking knife. When you look at it, if you can try to, you know, imagine these perforations being filled in, this is a really classic design. It has a really nice, simple handle, which you know, if you watch my videos, I like simple handles because they're ergonomic. And this is an ergonomic handle, even with my wide hands, it's, it feels good in the hand. Uh, there's no, you know, big, um, upturn at the butt so you can get a grip and not have it digging into your pinky. But not only does it feel good, it looks good. It's a, a really classic looking handle. And then the blade shape for sure is super classic. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a really, really classic, good looking drop point blade shape. So I think it's a good looking knife, even just in its design and its shape. And then the perforations give it a unique look as well as some practicality with the grip and also the weight reduction being that it is an all metal knife. Now this is the black version and they also have a stainless version um, that is not coated. This coating has seemed to hold up well for me. I haven't seen really any issues with it. The only place where the coating has come off is when I took the, the uh, clip screws off, I kind of jerked my hand and it, and it scratched it a little bit. But other than that, it has held up really, really well in use. Um, really no wear on the blade, even from cutting cardboard that I've seen yet. I'm sure it will at some point, but it seems like a good coating. That said, I think that the stainless version looks really cool also. And, and honestly, um, if I were to pick, I might pick that one just to go with other, you know, stainless type gear that I have for, you know, you got to get those, those matching picks for Instagram. But uh, there's two different versions and they're both about $68. Uh, you can get it on Civivi. And again, I have an affiliate link so that you can help support the channel and sh show, you know, Civivi that you 
uh, are, are interested in, in knife thoughts and that knife thoughts helps you, you know, find knives and, and see what knives are worth getting. So you can use my affiliate link. You can also get it at White Mountain Knives, which uh, I have a discount code for both Civivi and White Mountain Knives. Knife Thoughts will get you a discount at both of those places, but you can find it at other places also in case either of them go out of stock. And again, the normal price is about $68. For that price, I think you're getting a pretty good knife. Now, it's a little more expensive than some Civivis, but it's a little less than other Civivis. Considering all of the machining that goes into this knife, considering the, the really nice design, I like the shape of the knife a lot, and the kind of unique steel, I do think that it's a good value and one that, that I'm happy to have and have enjoyed carrying. I've even be able, been able to put this you know, in my watch pocket not that I would normally carry it there. I was honestly carrying a bunch of different knives for review, but I've enjoyed carrying and using this Civivi Perf quite a bit. One last thing, when I did disassemble it, there is not a D-shaped pivot in here. So that's really the only thing that, that, that sticks out to me that I would change about this knife. And that's true for every Civivi knife that I've disassembled. They don't have D-shaped pivots, and I'd like to see that. So I, you know, I am gonna recommend that to Civivi to start using D-shaped pivots so they, they can't turn. Um, but other than that, I, I really like it. I've enjoyed using it, I've enjoyed carrying it, and I think that it offers a good value, especially if you like the design and the look of these handle perforations. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the knife in the comments. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. I've got more videos on knives like this coming soon. Also check out my social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website knifethoughts.com where I post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.